They say that speed kills. But what is speed without timing? Without tempo? Rhythm rules the world of combat sports. In boxing, there is nothing more important. And it is rhythm that makes Gennady Golovkin such a dangerous opponent and such a consistent knockout artist. None would call the Kazakh killer a fast man. Indeed, speed is often one of the only attributes in his opponent's favor. But his understanding of rhythm makes him a difficult man to time, and his punches nearly impossible to withstand. This is Gennady Golovkin, leading the dance. First things first, what exactly is rhythm? Let's cut the music for a second and try a little experiment. Here are four punches. Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, the classic combination. Now imagine that those punches fall on a steady beat, like this one. Human beings possess a natural ability to attune themselves to a rhythm, so much so that our reactions aren't really reactions so much as they are predictions. In our minds, what comes before always determines what we expect to happen next. So when these four punches all come on one of the beats of our rhythm, you should be able to time the fourth one fairly well. But here's where it gets interesting. I can increase the tempo or speed of this sequence of punches, and you should still have little difficulty in reacting to the fourth one. No matter how fast we go, you should still be able to predict the timing of that uppercut as long as the entire combination follows the same rhythm. Pretty easy, right? But if I alter the amount of time between the third and fourth punch, you will suddenly find yourself struggling to predict the fourth and final beat of the combo. Are you ready? Imagine yourself reacting to these punches in real time. Try to block or slip the final uppercut. Much harder, wasn't it? And again, this isn't a function of speed. In fact, it works just as well if that final punch takes longer than expected to arrive. So, what does this have to do with boxing? Rhythm changes are an instrumental aspect of Gennady Golovkin's style. His heavy hands are potent in their own right, but the difference between a knockout punch and one easily blocked, evaded, or absorbed lies in the ability of the opponent to predict or time that punch before it connects. And though he lacks the speed of some of his contemporaries, Golovkin's punches are decidedly difficult to predict. Fencers have been perfecting the manipulation of rhythm for centuries. Here, Korean sabre Kim Yong-hwan establishes and then breaks rhythm to score a touch on his opponent. Quick step, quick step, and then a long, slow lunge. Call it half beat, half beat, full beat. Again, it's not speed alone that does the trick. In fact, the relative sluggishness of Kim's cut is what makes it effective. His opponent actually parries too soon and leaves himself exposed to the attack. Golovkin's game is full of these Svencer-like steps and attacks, half beats followed by full ones. For example, one of his favorite techniques is the hook thrown off the jab. From a purely technical standpoint, this is an intelligent attack. The jab tends to draw the opponent's hand out, leaving an opening in their guard for the hook to follow up. But notice the rhythm of these two attacks. The jab is very quick, while the hook from start to finish takes almost twice as long to land. Half beat, full beat. This rhythmic variation is key as Golovkin is constantly working to move his opponent's hands out of position in order to capitalize with a clean punch. Golovkin had Marco Antonio Rubio jumping at every feint he threw, and by varying the rhythm of his feints and his actual attacks, he managed to land clean punches at nearly every turn. Here, a hook set up by a subtle feint. Golovkin flashes his left hand, which prompts Rubio to react. This feint hasn't hidden the hook. As you can see, Rubio spots Golovkin's loaded left hand and, circling to his right, lifts his own hand to block. But just as in the fencing sequence we saw earlier, Rubio's block happens too soon for Golovkin's deliberate hook, and he accidentally jerks his hand too far to the side to stop the punch. Watch it again in slow motion and notice the timing of Golovkin's movements. 
the half beat of his feint completely at odds with the wide, sweeping left hook that follows. Triple G does something similar in this next sequence, feeding Rubio a half beat feint and then sliding forward with a sharp one too. He takes a sudden short step forward, dropping his left shoulder and guarding with his right hand as if to throw a jab. Rubio extends his own right hand to catch it, but resorts to putting on his earmuffs when he realizes he's bitten on a feint. A real jab comes on the next half beat, this one slipping right through Rubio's guard. This is then followed by a full beat right hand. Rubio manages to block the punch, but he is put momentarily on the defensive. With a single feint and a subtle manipulation of rhythm, Golovkin has seized the initiative and forced his opponent to react to him, the primary goal of every pressure fighter. Let's see it again in slow motion. Half beat, half beat, full beat. Golovkin breaks rhythm very well at range, but he is really at his most dangerous when he can force these tempo changes on the opponent, pushing them backward and mixing up the power and speed of his punches mid-combination. Here, he throws a feint right into the middle of his assault, ensuring that the defending Rubio stays one step behind. The two men exchange jabs, but Golovkin is quicker on the follow-up. He feints a second jab, using this distraction to hide a long forward step of his left foot. Rubio, meanwhile, reacts to the feint by leaning back and ends up frozen over his own static feet as Golovkin follows the feint with a long straight right. A left hook comes next, splitting Rubio's guard as he is forced once again to shell up. Once again, the variation of tempo is what makes this combination so effective. The actual punches of Golovkin's attack fall methodically on the whole beats. One, two, three, four. And the pattern of the punches is equally predictable, going left, right, left, right. Easy to time, easy to stop. The addition of the feint changes everything. Suddenly, one, two, three, four becomes one and two, three, four. That interruptive half beat breaks the rhythm of Rubio's defense, compounded by the fact that the feint changes the predictable pattern of attack. Now instead of simply alternating from one hand to the other, Golovkin's onslaught reads left, left, right, left, right. Watch it one more time, and imagine yourself adjusting to this broken rhythm in real time, every feint backed up by the deadly threat of Golovkin's power. Rhythm underlies everything in boxing, like a complex dance of war. And ultimately, it is the fighter who leads this dance who usually comes out the victor. There is a brutal nature to the way that Golovkin throws his hands, but his subtle feints and changes of tempo make it clear that this is no mere puncher at work. Gennady Golovkin is truly a knockout artist. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to MMANation.com on YouTube for more like it. You can also find more of my videos and written analysis on BadLeftHook.com and BloodyElbow.com. I'm Connor Rebush, and thank you for watching.